Alright, so before we start this video, I need to say one important thing. I am the best pilot that's ever walked planet Earth. Drone pilot, that is. Within five seconds of takeoff, I pulled the most phenomenal trick you ever would see. I grasped the drone into the ground. Like, what kind of trick is that? It's a beautiful trick. Part of the reason why I printed the quadcopter is because I know something, and many people know this, who's ever piloted a drone or did anything with a drone. They know the fact that what goes up must come down. Thank goodness that these things are 3D printed because now, I can just replace the parts. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So the things that broke on this quadcopter are just the two arms. Um, these are really easy prints. So let's go ahead and print the two pieces and get this drone fixed so we can get it back up in the air. So now this should be able to fit on here. Pretty easy and pretty basic. They just go right on there like that. So let's go ahead and just clean up these parts. So I actually uh, owned a quadcopter before this and I actually owned a DJI Phantom uh, Vision Plus and it, that's where these motors came from. Um, and uh, essentially, I ended up crashing that thing and ruining it. I'm the best pilot that's ever walked planet Earth. That's where this thing was born, was out of those pieces of that. All right, all done cleaning them up, so let's go ahead and install them. I'm gonna get it. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take off one of these arms, uh, this is the back, so I'm gonna take this one off here and move it to this here and then make these two red ones the front. I think that that will look uh, the best. That also will make the quadcopter just pop to have the red and green. Like that, very cool. So I'm gonna head over to the soldering uh, station, unsolder these wires, because they actually wrap up in the arm here. So I'll need to unsolder them, pull them out, and then resolder them back in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, so I got them unsoldered from the actual motor. So now we can take the motor off and take it off. I've also done something behind the scenes. These pieces here I actually slightly redesigned so they will work with the DJI motors. All right, so here's my broken pieces. We don't need those anymore, so off with those. And boom, there's the quad. So now, Boom, we're working. I mean, of course, we don't have the controller plugged in, but we're working. You know, the red looks absolutely sick. Look at that thing. That thing's just awesome to have the red in the front. Then you also know the front of your quadcopter. Oh man, that's, that's cool. Like, that is very cool. That's one bonus of owning 3D printers, is that any part, any time, fix. Don't have to wait on nothing. Just, well, I mean, you have to wait on the print, but that doesn't take long. You can run those overnight and Bam, you got it. So neat. I'm gonna go over there, get some props, put it on this thing, and fly it. Alrighty, so we're all done. Let's go fly it. Hey, you just wanna know what happens when the blades are on backwards? Nothing. I'm the best pilot that's ever walked planet Earth. Test flight two. Let's try it again. Mm -hmm. 